everybody, welcome back to Studio Sam. Um, I've got some exciting mail that I wanted to open with you today. Um, uh, a few months ago, I was on AliExpress having a look at diamond paintings, and um, there was this diamond painting that I was looking at, and then at the last minute, I realized it actually wasn't a diamond painting, it was a paint by number kit. And it just got me thinking, I couldn't stop thinking about it then. I used to love paint by number kits when I was when I was little. My mum used to buy them for me, and um, so that, that was the end of it. I, I think I sat up until one o'clock that morning um, on the lounge, scrolling and scrolling through hundreds of paint by number kits, um, and I, I couldn't stop thinking about them. So I bought a few and they've arrived, and I wanted to show them to you what I chose, um, because although I'm still working on my big, um, my big Wooly Girl diamond painting, uh, I thought maybe I could just start one of these as well. Um, and somehow I'll get through it all. Uh, but anyway, um, so I thought I'd show you what I've got and then um, I've got three here to show you and I was going to see if, um, if anybody who's watching would like to um, say what kit they think that I should start first. So there's three, um, they're all um, from three different sellers. Uh, so I'll show you what I got. This is the image of the first kit that I bought. It is like a country scene with fields of lavender at the front and a sky. Kit number two is um, peonies. I just love peonies, they're my favorite flower. And these are big, blousy peonies um, uh, in, in, in bright pink colors. Kit number three that I bought is a copy of one of Monet's water lilies from one of the Water Lily series. Okay, so now I think we should open up all of these kits and have a bit of a closer look. Okay, here we go. All right, so the first one I'm gonna open is this one with the uh, country scene. Ah. The colors look lovely, they look really nice. So this one is from uh, a seller called Paint Boy, Paint Boy Official. Uh, I chose that seller for one of them uh, because I've been watching some of the paint by number um, videos from the YouTube channel called um, Painty Cat. Um, she, she's, a, she's an artist um, who, who does a lot of paint by number work. Um, and, um, and she mentioned on her channel that um, that Paint Boy Official is quite a good one. Okay, so the colors look really nice. What have we got? We've got three brushes here. Um, it looks like there's um, a small, medium, and a large one. I'll, I'll open these up because I want to have a better look. And it looks like there's some little um, D clips in there again as well. I'm guessing that's just to um, and some and two screws for hanging afterwards if I um, frame it or just to help with framing or something. Okay, we've got three. They look nice and soft. And these the the tiny one and the medium one have got the plastic protective things on them. They I mean they're just plastic. They don't look like they're particularly you know amazing, but. I'm sure that they'll be okay. And the paints. So they're all numbered. The colors look lovely. Ooh. Just everyday acrylic paints, I believe. And this is the canvas. It came just with the, um, the rolled um, foam core, similar to uh, what a lot of the diamond paintings are. So it looks like it's um, the canvas seems quite good. Just um, it looks like the pre-primed um, canvas. The numbers are all clear on it. And here is the map. So the picture you get printed on on paper as well as on your canvas. And I'm guessing that is. In case I, you know, totally go out of the lines, I've, I've mucked up an area, I'm not sure 
where the lines were meant to be or what an area was meant to look like, I guess you can refer back to the um, to the paper map or diagram uh, so it, it has the, the numbers printed on here as well for you. Let's go to the next one. This is the, the vase of peonies, all in one little plastic packet. You've got the, um, the photo for reference. Oh, what's this? Oh, wow. That's really lovely. It's very rare that you get um, a little handwritten note from, uh, from some of these big companies in China. So that's really nice. I love that. All right. Exactly the same. Same um, three brush paintbrush packet. It's got the tiny, the medium, and the larger one. Paints are shrink wrapped, so they're not rolling around and banging into each other. They are they are one solid piece. Um, I can imagine, like they're not going to budge in that at all. They're not going to move. I, can, I can't even move the plastic at all. There is no chance on the trip from China that they could open up of their own accord and spill. There is no way in the world that, that would happen. It's, they're really well packed. This is the seller that this one's from. Is um, they were called It Is You store. I think it's It Is You. I'll put it in the description anyway. All right, the, the map and the canvas. Okay, this canvas is folded, it's not rolled up around a foam core. But I can't imagine that matters a great deal for canvas. I can just iron this like normal. I can just iron it on the back. I'll spray it with some water if I had some real stubborn creases, but it's um it's not gonna be like diamond painting where um you know that plastic type of, of base canvas is hard. This is actually like a natural fibre. Hey, this one looks great. The numbers look a little bit darker than the other one. And um, it's got some areas here that are solid gray without a number in them at all. But I'm guessing there'll be some kind of corresponding paint for those. Okay, but otherwise that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm really excited to give this a go. This, this fiber, it's like kind of got, it looks like it's um, like, yeah, I don't know. It just looks very natural. Right, so that is for the peonies. I'll put that one aside and let's open up number three. Now, number three is a bit different. It, um, this one, I had the choice of ordering this one, the Monet, either framed or unframed. So here we go. So I decided to order it framed. So, so it's in plastic. It has its little pouch, its pocket here. Just a little zip up bag. Okay. So that's the photo for reference. It actually has numbers down the side of all the colours. Oh goodness. Wow. I'm so excited to give one of these a try. It's exactly the same. Three brush kit with the little D rings. And oh, this one actually has a little, one of those little tap in hooks. Should I use that? I don't know. And exactly the same little pots, pots of paint in the same, just the same. All numbered in the same way. Oh, so now this is different straight away. Oh my goodness, the areas on this are tiny. I guess that's because um, that's just the nature of this artwork is that it has lots of those little tiny kind of Monet style impressionist brush strokes. So this, this is different, this one. I'm gonna take the plastic off so you can see it better. So it's been stretched over the frame already. I thought since it had the option of doing this, it was only a few dollars extra to get it framed. So I thought, oh, well, let's 
let's see what that's like. It wasn't that much. And I wasn't too sure about my framing ability to stretch over a canvas. So it looks like it's just on timber, just the timber stretcher bars, stapled in a simple way all the way around. Okay, and oh my goodness, look how tiny these little areas are. So these are pre-coloured. I'm not quite sure why that would be. I guess it would help you maybe just to stay within your zone. Wow, some of these numbers are tiny. And some of the little areas are tiny. But you know what I feel? I just, there's something about this that although, um, although it's, you know, I, some people might say that paint by numbers are really just, you know, colouring in, adult colouring in. You don't have to stay within those lines. I can smudge that paint a little bit. I can make this my own. And that's what I actually plan on doing. I plan on picking one of these, whichever one I do first. Some parts I might stay within the lines, but some areas I plan on kind of, I don't know, blending a little bit here and there. Um, and, um, and and seeing, seeing how if I can, you know, use this to create something beautiful okay guys there we have it one two or three which one should I do first I'll get the three pictures next to each other so I am so keen to give one of these a go let me know what you think what you would like to see hopefully over the next year or so I would like to have all of these finished and have a little gallery wall of my own artworks but tell me what you think Monet water lilies the French lavender fields or the floral still life with the peonies thanks guys I hope everybody's having a great week um, Hope you enjoyed uh, seeing what's going on, my latest obsession um, with my paint by number opening. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know what you think, guys, and I will catch you next time. Bye.